Hello, so today I'm here to speak about the VHS of VHS. So this week on Wednesday, January 16th, I went to an event which was to go back to the old rental stores. I went to an event called Seller Rentals, the toaster's there for it. I went to this, and this is really cool. I will show you the booklet first from Seller Rentals. At Seller Rentals, they had it all set up as old VHS and everything. As you can see, it's here right here. There's a really cool, they set up with old VHS and everything all around. All the VHS was Viva VHS's VHS, and I'm amazed at how much rare and cool VHS they had. It was kept set up so cool and reminded me of the old days when I used to go and rent VHS from VHS shops with my dad. Let me show this really cool book. The really cool thing about this booklet is it's meant to look like it's Seller Rentals, the magazine. It's meant to look like the magazine you would get from an old rental shop when there was a prime time rental in my town. That's what the rental shop was called in my town called Prime Time. That was the sort of thing where you get and you get all the movies this week and news and that. And this is really cool because it has like old v adverts for VHS players. It's really cool that they even got stuff for the uh, Pac Man in a pack. So it's really cool old stuff showing just Seller Rentals, the the magazine was cool to go into this old VHS shop and see all these old VHS and that you've got boom boxes in here and adverts for XXX adult videos. That's what they had at the back, they had like this bit for the rarer adult films, which was incredibly cool. And now onto the VHS of VHS. Now people I've taken pictures of this and put them on line. People have been like sixty pound for that because on the front it says Suggested selling price at £60. They've put that on there because that is sort of doing homage to old VHS because when VHS was released they were £60 at the time. Now this is really well designed, it's got mental pictures, home video on the side, the girl in the mask and VHS down the side and some little note there. I'm not sure what that's meant to be, but it's a little note thing there. And you got all that on the back. This is limited to 300 and I have got 283 or 300 so it's really cool, very well designed. I wish that they had gone a bit more old school with the cover but I still think this VHS is cool. And you open it up, it's one of the big boxes and then you've got VHS, it says don't be kind, don't rewind is a little joke. And there's VHS on there. This is incredibly cool. So it was really cool going back to this. I went and did a box pop thing at one point saying what I sort of thought of the film and at one point they went, Yeah, you're probably too young to remember VHS shops. That was the awkward point where I think they must have thought like I was eighteen or nineteen, but then I was like, No, at the age of twelve I used to go and rent VHS with my dad. So it was incredibly cool to go back to this. It brought my old memories, it was a lot of fun seeing all this old VHS and seeing this whole old rental shop. And if you were there, did you enjoy the event? And if you've seen VHS, what did you think of it? I think on a second view of it, I still enjoyed it, but I found it a little bit boring this time. It's still a fun watch, it's still fun to watch, but it lost what it had when I first watched it because the second time watching it, you know what's going to happen and everything, and like I knew it was going to happen, but the guy next to me did not know what was going to happen when he jumped out of his seat. So that is the VHS of VHS. Let me know if you've seen this or if any of you were at the event. So that is all I have to say today. Thank you very much. Goodbye.